New to the T680 Next Gen, T880, and W990 is the Kenworth 15-inch digital display. This provides the driver with as much or as little information as he or she needs, and it allows the driver to customize what they see. The digital display is the heart of both the T680 Next Gen as well as the T880 and W990. The 15-inch digital display will perform a systems check when the key is in the on position and the exterior lighting self-test button is pushed. If you have a key fob, you can also use the button on there. The display will run through 14 standard systems, showing each of them as green, meaning OK, orange, meaning warning, or red, meaning critical fault. This helps to supplement your pre-drive inspection. Additionally, if your truck has driver assistance or tire pressure monitoring equipped, the system will check those as well, showing a summary on the display. Another great feature of the digital display is the ability to easily change languages or see a dual speedometer view. Simply go into the settings to toggle between English, French, and Spanish. Trucks are delivered set up in either standard or metric units on the display, but you can also set the shortcut button on the smart wheel to get a view that shows either a full-size speedometer or one that shows you both miles per hour and kilometers per hour together. If you find yourself frequently crossing the border, then this feature might be very helpful. The 15-inch digital display provides five different views for the driver. To move through the views, use the wheel on the right-hand side of the Kenworth Smart Wheel. You can tell which screen you are on by the navigation dots on the right-hand side. The screen options are minimized one. In this view, only critical information is displayed. This reduces light and driver distraction. When all gauges are fine, the driver is able to focus on the road without seeing any extra info. If a gauge begins to go into an air state, it will be shown. Minimize 2. This view adds the horizon. Basic view will open out one set of wings to show you the primary gauges you might want to see while driving, including air pressure, fuel, depth, oil pressure, and coolant temperature. The maximized view expands to show additional gauges on either side of the primary gauges. Please note that not all trucks will have the same gauges here. This depends on what the truck is specced with. Favorites is signified by a star in the navigation area. Favorites allows you to customize your gauge view to see only what you want to see. You can also get to this view by using the shortcut button. When you're parked, you can change what gauges appear on the favorites screen by opening the menu and using the right-hand scroll wheel to customize the gauges shown. Just select a gauge and select which slot you would like to place it in. Save the layout or add more gauges. You can remove gauges in the same way. Now, don't worry if you really like one of the minimized views. If any sensor or system starts to go out of the appropriate range, it will pop up on the display. If it goes into a warning state, then additional actionable information will be provided through a pop-up message in the area above the tachometer. That way, you always have the essential information you need. Another great feature of the display is night mode. At night, the display automatically goes to a toned-down color set that is easier on the eyes for evening driving. You can adjust brightness by using the dash dimmer switch. Additionally, when the truck is in reverse, the display backlight will automatically dim in order to optimize rearward visibility. When you're done driving for the day, the system will show you a post-trip summary. The content of this screen will depend on what the truck is specced with. Here, you can see driver performance summary, a drive summary with fuel economy, idle time and cruise control usage, as well as the tire pressure monitoring system. If there are any issues, these will also appear on the post-drive summary so you can alert a maintenance person or fill out your logs accurately. That's all for your high-level overview of the digital display. Now that you've set up your favorites, you're ready to hit the road and experience the new 15-inch digital display. The display is controlled entirely via buttons on the steering wheel, allowing you to keep your hands on the wheel. The buttons are intuitively laid out so you can keep your eyes on the road. Depending on the spec of your truck, you will have a variety of buttons and toggle switches on your smart wheel. I'll go over what each of these does. If you have driven a Kenworth with a smart wheel before, then some of these buttons will look familiar. 
Starting on the right-hand side, you have volume controls, including radio mute. This is the shortcut button. This button can be programmed to change the screen to favorites, change the speedometer view to add digital RPMs, or display to speedometers. It is customizable. The scroll wheel on the right-hand side is the one that will navigate through the gauge views when driving by rolling the wheel up or down. If you have a pop-up message, some of them can be suppressed by pressing the wheel. You can also scroll through them if there are multiple pop-ups. When you're parked, pressing this will take you to the menu where you can navigate through things like notifications to see current warnings, trip summary data, configure your settings, and view software versions in the truck information. To go back, cancel, or suppress pop-ups, use this button. The last group of buttons on the right-hand side are the combination phone, next, and previous track, and radio source. If you have your phone connected via Bluetooth, you can use this to accept and end calls. Coming over to the left-hand side, we have the familiar buttons for cruise control. To activate, turn your cruise control on by using the on-off button, then set your speed using the upper set button. On the digital display, you will see the cruise control icon in the bottom left next to the speedometer. When it is white, cruise is on but not set. Green means cruise is set and managing your speed. The set speed is the number to the right. To cancel, tap the brakes or hit the on-off button once. You may notice a number above and below the cruise control numbers. These are the deviations above or below the set speed that cruise might do if it is equipped with predictive cruise control. If your truck was specced with this option, you may be able to adjust these two numbers to a larger or smaller range using the toggle on the left-hand side of the wheel. If you see an infinity sign above the set cruise speed, that means the engine brake is off and the truck will not slow itself down until you move the stock down into an engine brake position. There is always a trip being logged in the trip information function, and if this trip marker button is pushed, it will start a new trip segment. The 15-inch digital display allows for up to 26 segments to be saved, going from A to Z. This function allows you to track different parts of your trip and review later to see your stats by each leg of your journey. To reset all trips, hold the trip marker button and it will zero all trips and start you back at A. Because this toggle on the left-hand side is used for two purposes, predictive cruise control droop and adaptive cruise control headway adjustment, it is possible you may just have a blank plate here instead if your truck does not have either of these options. To use the toggle, push the button to manipulate the cursor. It will cycle through the available options, turning them blue when selected. Rock the lever up or down to change the settings. You can press the toggle to cycle through predictive cruise control overshoot, undershoot, and adaptive cruise control headway adjustment. When you get through them all, it goes back to a non-selected state. Headway adjustment is the following distance that you want to maintain when using the adaptive cruise control system, indicated by the white bars between the truck hood and the car icon. These bars will turn blue when selected to adjust headway. Please note, not all trucks will be specced with an adjustable headway. The last control is the variable road speed limiter. To activate this, enable the cruise with the on-off button. You will see the cruise icon go white in the display. Then press the limit button to set your maximum speed allowed when using the throttle pedal. You can see your set maximum speed in the display. This is beneficial if you are driving through a construction zone or driving in the yard and you want to focus on your surroundings without worrying about exceeding the speed limit. When you are limited, you will see it in the display. Please note, not all trucks will be equipped with the variable road speed limiter. You can only have cruise control or the road speed limiter active at once. I hope you enjoy driving your new Kenworth truck.